Hi, we are here today with Max Roach, who is the uh, writer-director of London Through the Lens. Hello. Thank you for being here, Max. Thank you for having me. Excellent. Um, could you give us a brief overview of what London Through the Lens is? Um, so with London Through the Lens, I kind of uh, wanted to show life in London as well as like through the lens of uh, one of my friends who's a really great photographer. And uh, I wanted to show the diversity in London and I want to show kind of the true spirit. It's kind of like a nice representation of the city, as you know, I, I live quite near it and it's quite close to my heart. You know, growing up in London is, is uh, an experience. So I thought I would do it and I thought it was a really interesting project to show it through. So I want to show it almost for like a documentary, true to life, um, kind of interesting story. Yeah. Great, thank you. <laughs> and how long is London Through the Lens? So London Through the Lens is five, five minutes long. Uh, what was a, a nice a nice place to finish it. I could probably make it a bit longer, but for like five, keeping it to five minutes was quite nice. It was like bite size, a little dock. That was uh, quite nice for people to swallow, but yeah. Excellent, thank you. And so from the beginning of your, when you got the concept for it till the end, could you tell us the process of that, how you conceived the idea, how you, the logistics of going out and doing it, going back, editing, yeah. etc. So I got the idea, actually quite long ago, I got the idea when I, maybe last summer and um, I messaged my friend about it and it was only until probably about October uh, last year when we were given a media project and I thought it fitted perfectly and I rang him up again and uh, he seemed proper up for it so it was quite a long time in between um, the idea and uh, the finalised project uh, but it allowed time for it to almost marinate and improve so I could uh, have a lot of time and have a lot of fun uh, developing it Great, and it's approximately five minutes? Yes. Yeah. How much footage did you shoot to get down to that five minutes? Quite a lot, so um, we did two days, and the first day was um, just interviews in the studio, uh, seeing how far we can get, and that footage went on for probably about half an hour. <laughs> uh, it was quite a lot of time, quite a lot of questions, it was quite a hard day, but um, it was worth it, you can kind of pick out the best parts. And then, from what we got, on the streets and what we'd done in London. It was uh, quite a lot of footage to, to sift through, probably about 200 clips uh, I had to go through, but uh, surprising wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse when I got into the editing suite, but um, yeah, it was quite nice to go through. Uh, and yeah, luckily we got the shots that we did. So for first time filmmakers, or fresh filmmakers, and maybe yeah. just one or two things, what advice would you give them? So I'd probably say there's three points. There's um, number one, um, don't be afraid to fail. Um, so, you know, failure can really consume you and uh, the thought of it can be really scary and it might really put you off making your first film. Uh, number two, I'd say work with what you got uh, because, you know, you really can challenge yourself using the stuff you have around you and you'll be surprised what you can make with, you know, the equipment and what you, the props, the costume design, the locations. Um, and plus, it's, it's, it's nice to kind of keep the cost down for your first film. And then uh, finally, it's just kind of have fun. If you have fun with the film, then you, you know, get good memories from it and it inspires you to make your next. I think you should always be thinking about the next film rather than the film uh, you're making, see how it will affect your career. I think that's fantastic advice, especially the don't be afraid to foul piece of advice because we do, we look at the standards, don't we? Exactly. We, go, we want to be like that, but we can't because we haven't got the ARRI cameras <laughs> and et cetera. Et cetera. Yeah. Um, so what else, have you got anything else in mind at the moment that you're thinking of making or are you actually physically making something at this point in time? So obviously during this really hard period with lockdown and stuff mm. I've uh, adapted to kind of um, doing these lockdown shorts and um, along with some of my YouTube videos and stuff I do so um, it's kind of a hard process to try and get people incorporated in the film like they can't help with physically um, but yeah I have a few things that I've done during lockdown that are kind of in the works and then it's just knowing when the right time's going out and to shoot. So we're waiting just for confirmation locations for a next film, uh, which will be coming out hopefully by maybe Christmas time, what would be really nice. But Can we ask a little bit of what it <laughs> might be about? Um, I could say that uh, it involves a very obscure location and um, it might be, might be uh, within the realms of the kind of horror aspects and playing with kind of the thriller. Um, twisting some genres maybe with comedy so yeah it's kind of it's a fun project to work on and that's very different from London Through the Lens uh, yeah yeah completely different <laughs> just yeah. so just going back to London Through the Lens again sorry um, that's right 
Has it been received by elsewhere that you may have put it, any other festivals or anywhere it's shown? Um, so London for Lens is kind of my first film that has um, been received like quite well. It's got, um, so recently it got into some newspapers uh, like Rumford Recorder, it was absolutely brilliant to get published in there, it was amazing. Uh, kind of a dream come true and then um, a college website. Um, so it's really nice to see the amazing support and lovely messages I've been getting from people. Um, it's going to a few other film festivals. Um, some, uh, my, probably one of the biggest ones being in LA, what's kind of cool, in like a showcase segment, what's mm. really, um, I mean, I didn't really expect it, kind of just put it out there, see what people thought, and um, the messages I've got back and the feedback, uh, the positive and negative feedback is absolutely amazing, you know, anything to kind of help me get better, so it's, it's been crazy, the amount of people have been helping me and supporting me. That's great, that's absolutely fantastic, <laughs> and very encouraging for all filmmakers out there, early filmmakers. Yeah. Um, so. As someone who's clearly got a passion for filmmaking, who are your influences? What are your influences? <laughs> so I'm a massive geek for like fiction film, and um, you know I, I do love a documentary, but I'd say I really, really, really love like making short films and going to those realms. So um, obviously you can say, um, you know, Steven Spielberg and Christopher Nolan, but I really like the works of maybe like Jordan Peele, mm -hmm. and um, as well as Greta Gerwig. I've really uh, over lockdown, I've kind of binged quite a lot of their work, so uh, I'm, I'm a massive fan of um, stuff that maybe film companies like A24 are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like films like Lady Bird, where they kind of twist genres in a way, and um, it makes a really interesting kind of viewpoint on life and society, so I really like that, that type of film, so those influences are always great to have, it's really inspiring. And, and how to, out of what you just told me, what would be one or two of your favourites? I'd probably say Get Out is probably one of my favourite films, mm -hmm. and um, I'd, I'd think everything about it is kind of amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, what it, what it achieves and what it says is incredible. But then I really like films like Book Smart, mm -hmm. as well as um, Lady Bird, as I just said. It, um, yeah, I, I like those type of films as it feels new and fresh, almost like a new take. Uh, but then also you have to respect the classics, like you know, films like Jurassic Park, I'd say, mm -hmm. is definitely up there. Mm -hmm. Seeing that in cinema the other day was, um, yeah, you don't, you don't realise the small stuff that's gone into mm -hmm. it, so it's, it's amazing. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for <laughs> being prepared to be a victim here and be interviewed. Um, we really appreciate you submitting oh, your film you. and we wish you every success and we look forward to your next project. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so thank much. You for